100%. And you may have heard it, may not. I, I didn't certainly not hear the context of it all. This is from, again, from Rabbi Herschel Fogelman. And the story goes like this. He say tells the story. Rabbi Yaakov Schiff lived in Vienna when the Friedrich Rebbe was there. At the time, our Rebbe was also there. And this Rabbi Yaakov Schiff became close to our Rebbe. One day, the Rebbe, meaning our Rebbe, asked this Rabbi Yaakov Schiff to deliver an important letter from the Friedrich Rebbe to the post office. Now, this letter later became well known and published for its content regarding Tanya. I don't know exactly which letter we could find out. That's a subsequent. The Herschel Fogel is pointing out that it was subsequently uh, publicized. But here, the story is our Rebbe is asking Rabbi Yaakov to please take it to the post office. On his way to the post office, Rabbi Yaakov's curiosity got the better of him. And unable to resist, he carefully opened the envelope and read the letter. So when Yaakov returned to our Rebbe, the Rebbe asked him if he fulfilled his mission. And he said, yeah. And then the Rebbe says to him, how you talking? Which means, how could you have done this? He didn't say that he'd opened it. But our Rebbe sensed it. And you open it, listen, but that's a serious business. It's a chayim rabbinic gershon, not to open mail addressed to somebody else, ever. Rabbinic gershon, we're not going to get this now, but the chayim, the person excommunicated spiritually for doing such a thing. So the Rebbe was asking you, he said, Rebbe felt, he sensed that he'd opened it. So Rabbi Yaakov answers with the following story. He told the Rebbe like this, this is Yaakov Shif, yeah? That as a child, his father had once taken him for Yom Tov to, to the Karastira, the Pshayla Karastira that people go today. His yard site was recently known as a Big Balmoifus. Big Balmoifus. Uh, in the Crown Heights, is till today, the is, is it still operating the Karastira in Mikra, I think it's closed. It's a mikvah corner of, of Brooklyn and Eastern Parkway. Ramesha Groner lived on top. Matre Groner, Ramesha Groner. The Rebbe used to go to this mikvah, the Karastiri mikvah, because it was a Karastiri shtibl in Brooklyn, in Crown Heights. It was full of shtiblach when the had moved there. It was the it was a hub of Jewish life in America, Crown Heights. Anyway, I digress. So the Yaakov Schiff is saying that as a child, my father took me to the Karastira, the Bishayel, as they called him. There were many sitting there, and the Gashmis was very lacking. There wasn't enough wine for Kiddush, not enough challah for Lecha Mishnah. I couldn't hear the davening properly. Such a crowd and so on. So confused, this young Yaakov asked his father, Father, he says, all, we do all these mitzvahs at home. And here we come to the Rebbe, and we're falling short in so many areas. So his father said to Rebbe Yaakov, and the Rebbe is telling this to our Rebbe, my kind, the Averis was me tut by Rebbe, send him a chap of the mitzvahs, was me tut in the heim. My child, the sins in quotation, committed in the Rebbe's court, atone for the mitzvahs done at home. So he says, when he told his story to the Rebbe, the Rebbe smiled and seemed to accept his explanation. The story oh, yeah. of the envelope, I don't know, but the point is, the point is at home, it's not only this Evet, relatively speaking. To the, at home, you have your comforts and your kiddush and your challah and your wine, everything's your place to dove and nobody disturbs you. It comes to, it comes to the Rebbe and there's no room and he's squashed, you know, he's and he's, he's, so 
and yet he, he, he davens. That's what he has to do. He has yotze from Sibyal says kiddush. But he's enough mind to go around. That's a selfless avoid. It's that atones for the more indulgent mitzvahs that he does at home. You follow it to be elaborated, but I think when it gets the basic idea. Yeah, that he does by the habit tone for the mitzvahs he does at home. Because there it's bitl. At home, it's uh, he's a big chassid at home. And he's enjoying his, uh, to whatever degree, his, uh, his accomplishments. Okay, friends. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow.